Hey family, it's your girl. I'm back with the next edition of Find Your Flavor, next episode, next installment, whatever you want to call it. And in this particular segment, I want to talk about desire. And I will tell you, we've done the life audit, we've perused the pantry and done an interest inventory. We have invited people to dinner, we have kicked people out of the kitchen. Okay, we brought them in, we took them out. Okay. <laughs> I know it's kind of all over the place, but this is just what I did. I, and, and let me say this. There was no set formula that I followed. I didn't read a book and then say, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. This is me looking retrospectively and saying, I picked up this from an idea over there, and I picked up this from an idea over here, and I recognized that I did this, that, and the other. And I'm kind of trying to put it in a cohesive order for you guys to see if it'll be beneficial to somebody. It may not be beneficial to everybody, but the people that could benefit, I don't want to not share because of the notion that some people may go, it's not that big of a deal. So with that being said, this week, this episode, this edition, this installment on this mini series is about desire and more importantly, what does your ideal life look like? So before we even get to the point of finding your exact flavor, you have to get it to the point of what does your ideal life look like? And when I say that, I'm not exactly talking about career here because, you know, I think in the American society, I can't speak for other societies, and at least the American society that I've experienced, we put a lot of emphasis on career and there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes I think we do it to the detriment of putting a lot of emphasis on the person you know I was having a conversation with a couple of girlfriends of mine and I said what would happen if when we went to an event a networking events you know where we met people the rules were you couldn't ask them what they did for a limit live uh, ask them what they did for a living that you had to ask them about their family and their interests and their desires and their passion and what excites them and what sets them on fire so while your flavor can lead to your career, your job, your occupation, the thing that brings in revenue to your home to sustain your life, that's not 100% about uh, what I'm talking about. That's just a portion. And I don't want you to just think doctor, lawyer, engineer, chef, event planner, wedding coordinator, you know, uh, business, uh, volunteer. I'm talking more about your person, okay? So anyway, I just want to put that disclaimer out there for when I start talking about your ideal day. And I can't remember exactly where I got it from, but it talked about having a vivid vision. And the exercise is very simple. Don't think about money. Don't think about your current job. Don't think about your current life right now. Don't think about any of that. Think about the things that are important to you, whether you are able to incorporate them right now or not. Think about those things. It could be your spouse and your children. It could be your family. It could be working out. It could be quiet time. It could be being outdoors. It could be having the freedom to set your own schedule, whatever it could be. And don't put any limits on it. Do not, please do not censor yourself. But what you really want to do is walk through and say, what would my ideal day look like? Don't think about if you have the money to do it. Don't think about if you know how to do it, okay? Don't think about if you know people who know how to do it, that you don't have the connections or whatever. Don't think about any of that. Think about you know everything that you need to know. You have all the money that you need or desire to do it. What would your ideal day look like? And write it down. Write it down. I mean, I'll give you a snippet of what my ideal day looks like. That I will wake up naturally early in the morning I would have my devotion in my prayer time some quiet time then I would go work out without feeling rushed okay come back cook lunch for friends or maybe take it you know to someone okay film a video or have somebody film it and have somebody else edit it and upload it and syndicate it on social media <laughs> shout out to my YouTube vloggers who understand the struggles real in these streets okay no video editing is just not my favorite pastime let me tell you who i respect okay can i digress again because y'all know i like to digress if any of you guys know who natural 85 is on the yt 
this girl does daily vlogs she's got a hair channel and a style channel and if you watch her daily vlogs even on occasion she stay editing videos i can't i i, I wish i had that kind of persistent consistency nonetheless back to my original point <laughs> But I, I love her videos and I appreciate her for it. And that is why she's having the success that she's having. But anyway, back to my point, okay? So your ideal day, right? What does your ideal day look like? And so I went on and said then, you know, I'd have, you know, go home or wherever, have a meeting with my staff about different ideas for X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to put all my business in the streets, okay? Come home to my husband and children where I've made dinner and we enjoy it. And we can eat, either eat it al fresco, depending on the time of year. But we sit and we have a great dialogue, open transparency about what happened during the day, our goals for the future. We're loving, we care, we hug, we kiss, we do all of that. That's a portion of my ideal day. And then I went into what does my ideal week look like? month and then year and you're going to see some reoccurring themes one of the things that i realize is really important to me is flexi flexibility in my schedule um one of the things was connection to family and friends is is a big one food was obviously running through there and there were several more right but i want you to write it down and don't initially look for themes i'm not I, let me tell you i did it i know you're gonna do it but i mean i'm, I'm pleading with you don't do it just just resist the temptation you're disciplined adults i believe in you i have confidence in you but i want you to do that what's going to start to happen is when you start looking over your life audit and you start looking over your interest inventory and you start looking at what other people say that you're good at and then you start thinking about what you really desire just you and god without all these people in your kitchen putting a little flavor in the soup okay and then you start to say what does my ideal day look like week month year what components go in there whether I have that in my life right now okay whether I have the resources for that right now you're gonna start to see some things some larger themes start to funnel out okay and you can kind of you know note them asterisk them okay but don't jump to conclusions yet i know it's tempting because we in this instant grit microwave society i want to know right now but it's a process let me tell you something i'm giving it to you in these short like 10 minute 12 minute videos but this is stuff that i've done over years and i still continue to do so vivid vision ideal day week month year write it down in a journal get a notebook i you know what i'm gonna create a notebook anyway that's the next step in the process there are no rules no rules and if you find yourself scratching stuff out or erasing stuff you're editing and i don't want you to edit this is there there's nothing if you say you just want to your ideal day is being on the beach all day there's nothing wrong with that okay there there's no right or wrong don't think about well i gotta earn income well i gotta do this i gotta because who who did who told you to got us right no rules no rules no rules no rules write it down what your ideal day week month year looks like okay and keep it in conjunction with all the other things that we've doing so that's for this installment of find your flavor okay guys the link is below if you want to join the email group i have already started creating some of the templates and i'm going to be sending them out once you guys join the email group so you just need to click on the link and enter your name and email address okay i can't necessarily do it for you because of the way autoresponders and stuff like that work and the rules and all that kind of stuff you got to confirm and all that you know how it works if you've ever opted into an email thing but that's the easiest way for me to get the information to you guys is to just have you all in a group on an email and I can just send it out to you. So I'll put a link below in the description box, in the description box, in the description box, in the description box for you to click on it. Also, guys, if you are in the Dallas Fort Worth area or you want to take a road trip for Labor Day weekend, registration is still open for the Find Your Flavor workshop. I've had a couple people ask me if I'm going to be able to live stream it. I'm not that technology savvy, but I may try to figure it out and then maybe do like a reduced registration or something like that for those people 
who want to stream in and still get the materials and all that kind of stuff, uh, maybe digitally. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. If you guys would like to live stream that, it's going to be from 10 to 2. So if you're, if you're up for the challenge on, on Saturday, right, to hang out with us and snack and listen and do all that, I will, if I get enough requests with, for that, I will put a registration up for that and if I get enough of, of those people who want to do that we will try our best to make it happen but make sure you're following me on Twitter at Chef Evelyn, Instagram at Chef Evelyn, Facebook Chef Evelyn, Pinterest at Chef Evelyn and ChefEvelyn.com on the inside dish. Don't forget to check out my other channel Chef Evelyn TV here on the YT okay and because that channel is about to go undergo a lot of changes and uh, I think that's it. Did I remember everything? Oh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Guys, keep talking to me in the comments. I want to know your thoughts. Are you trying any of these things? Are you? Is it being helpful? You know, if you just say it's interesting, I really don't know what that means to you. I don't know if you're working on it or something. So I really want to get a dialogue going in the comments. And just let me know how it's going. If people are watching together, are you sharing it with your friends and on social media, all that kind of stuff. Please let me know because... I'm, I'm doing these videos for y'all. You know, I'm, I'm finding my flavor. I found a big portion of it. I'm still finding it. But if, if it's not helpful, okay, I, you know, I could be talking about steak or something. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I crack myself up, okay? Maybe that's the only child of me. I'm going to stop. I'm rambling. This video is long enough. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.